amazing images and with me is someone who's just come back from Florida where they were watching the uh, takeoff. Sarah Crudis is the uh, space journalist and broadcaster. Sarah, how exciting was that? Um, it's just absolutely incredible. I mean, it sounds like science fiction. Here we go. There's a billionaire launching his rocket with his car in, uh, playing all this Bowie music and sending it on a heliocentric orbit which will pass Mars. It sounds like science fiction. And you, you think back nearly seven years ago now to the last um, flight of the space shuttle. And even then, what we're seeing now in terms of this commercial space race with these maverick billionaires ploughing their own money into space exploration Amazing. sounds like science fiction, yet it's becoming reality. Uh, just looking at the shots to take off there, and just, just give us a sense of what the atmosphere was like when you were there. Kind of undescribable. I know that's kind of a lame thing to say, but um, one day seeing things like this will be routine, just as uh, seeing a, an aeroplane 100 years ago wasn't routine and now we take it for granted. So seeing the stuff at Kennedy Space Centre, you, the, it's crowds sold out. Um, everyone from Buzz Aldrin to, you know, heroes from Hollywood had come there. It's a real... We can't begin to imagine how fast our, our progression in space is beginning to change. So it's a real just um, incredible experience. Uh, and something we haven't really seen since the Apollo era, and just an incredible thing to be able to witness. Rather than enjoying your holiday snaps there, <laughs> which is very nice. Um, just underlying for us, you mentioned the fact that you know you have billionaires, you know, investing hugely in these projects. Um, and you know, if you're looking cynically, you'd say, well, what are they getting out of it? Except that in this case, of course, you know, we're talking about scientific advance. And we're talking about major scientific opportunities opening up. Is that a fair reading? That's a fair reading, but also. Staying static isn't good for us as a species. Humans are built to go over the hill, they're built to explore. And, and take, for example, um, Jeff Bezos, the Amazon billionaire. He's plowing his own money in. Elon Musk, who launched the rocket yesterday, yeah. he's got NASA government funding. Jeff Bezos is literally putting his money where his mouth is. If we are to progress as a species, why wouldn't we push out to space with this one planet in this one average solar system, which is one of many that exist in the universe? Why wouldn't we want to push that frontier? And at the same time, Space exploration advances technology and improves life here on Earth, making life better for everyone on Earth, not just the rich. And then also the inspiration, seeing a man launch his sports right. car into space. I mean, look at like, these images. It's just, they're surreal, aren't they? They're completely surreal. One of the greatest things to come from space, actually, isn't the science and the technology, it's the art. You think back to Apollo 8 when they went around the moon for the first time and you saw Earth rise and you saw the Earth as that pale blue marble from space. That's not science. That's inspiration and that's art and that benefits all of humanity as well. Well, Sarah, it's great to talk to you, and, um, you know, the images are great, but great to have someone with us who was there <laughs> and who clearly enjoyed it um, and who's got the pictures to, to prove it. So good to have you with us, Sarah, and thank you, for, thank you, very thank much. you for coming in today as well because um, after the flight and everything, <laughs> imagine that you want a bit of a kip. So thank I'll you have very much. one later. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Nice Bye. to see you.